Hey yo! So here's a teaser from the second episode of O-Culture Raw with Truth Seeker. He's an esoteric hip-hop artist, author, and speaker, and is also the host of the Truth Seeker podcast, a weekly show that discusses spiritual, esoteric, and metaphysical topics. We had to chat about growing up on hip-hop music, life in the Deep South, real-life true detective stories in backwoods Louisiana churches, warlocks, angels, demons, aliens, UFOs, elementals, biblical interpretations, creativity as God, true alchemy, and the work of Jordan Maxwell. And this is a clip from that conversation. Enjoy. Yeah, man. And before we get too far away from kind of like you growing up in, uh, in the South, I, I just had one more question about that that I uh, thought of while you were talking a few minutes ago. And I was just curious if you had any sort of uh, weird, you know, backwoods Louisiana, like true detective type of stories about being down there. Dude, that story was I, I, that story. You say true detective like I went to that church. <laughs> no the, <shit>. church, <laughs> the church that that's that that <laughs> series is based off of i was there right like when that was happening but i never got into that stuff i left before it got crazy and um i i have you know i i would i actually moved away i was in louisiana hammond louisiana it's actually a hosanna assembly and um yeah when i was really deep into occultism and really deep into witchcraft for the first time as a teenager um, I got into some really crazy stuff, making packs with demons and like entities just coming, trying to talk to me in the middle of the night and like just trying to open up my mind and my body to any type of entity that wanted to come through. And I got I was going crazy, like I was going schizophrenic and hearing voices and seeing shadows all around me. And I would go in and out of trances just like in the middle of the day, trying to, you know, trying to watch a television show. I would get sick and go into a trance midday and I couldn't breathe and it just got insane. So I ended up getting into the phone book, uh, trying to call churches. I felt like I was demon possessed, man. So I started calling all these churches and, uh, uh, one church called me back and it was at Hosanna assembly, which was the church that was, that came to be the cult that that's based off of. And the pastor, the, the guy who the show was about came to my house and prayed with me and picked me and my, my girlfriend up at the time. And was bringing us back and forth to church. And um, he, he'd bring us to Bible study and, uh, and come get us for a Sunday morning service. And it was just only just for a few weeks because, right, like when that whole thing uh, happened, we ended up moving back to Alabama just a couple weeks after. But then we, uh, you know, just a, a, a few months into that, as we were in Alabama, we would come visit family in the same city and we'd go to the church when we were in town. And they would say, hey, Derek's here. Everybody stand up and, you know, shit. Share your story. Tell everybody what the Lord's done. And I'd stand up and they'd applaud me and stuff. And so when we came back in town, we'd always go visit. Well, and it was a weird, just charismatic Christian church. They're dancing. They're like doing symbolic stuff, like marching around the church seven times and shouting like they did in the scriptures for like the walls of Jericho. Just all this little symbolic, weird, charismatic stuff that goes on in a lot of charismatic churches. And uh, so then a couple months later, you know, we we come back for a service and we try to go to the church. We're going to drive by there to see what time service was. And I uh, went to the, the window because they have the, the times on the window of the service. Um and it was scratched off with a uh, a razor blade and it and it had a sign up that said service by invite only and uh and all the windows had aluminum foil over them so they blacked out all the windows and i didn't think much of it but we were, i didn't, i thought maybe they were shutting down or something so i i I was, you know, I, I go to my, my back to my grandmother's house and I get into the uh, the phone book and I'm calling everybody trying to find the pastor's phone number i'm calling people with like the pastor's last name and everybody who answers, they're like, I'm asking them what time does church start? You know, I really wanted to go. And uh, they said, um, you know, lose. Or we don't we're not affiliated with them. Blah, blah, blah. And they hang up. And I had two or three people do that. I was like, that's kind of weird. So we ended up just going to another church. Um, and then maybe six months later after that, my mom came in town to Alabama, said and asked me, have we heard about that church that we used to go to? And I said, no, what happened? She said, well, it's all over CNN. They were uh, sacrificing animals and having sex with children and um, and kind of blew me. I was like, what? And I haven't even heard that. So we, I got online, looked it up and sure enough, the pastor and there was like teachers and parents and like people in, in, in law enforcement. They were like trading their kids out, man, and bringing their kids up. And I went to school with these kids, man. I was a teenager like when, when that stuff was happening. I was like 16 
And um, so, yeah, it was and it was weird because we I read the articles and stuff and it said that he would find people who were like addicted to drugs and people who were bad off and he would go pick them up and bring them to church to gain trust from them and stuff. And then here he was, you know, coming to our place, picking us up, bringing us to church and stuff. But while we were there, we didn't see anything weird like that going on. You know, it was just always like a Christian church. You didn't see nothing crazy going on. So, yeah, that's funny you say True Detective. Fuck, man, that is insane. I love it. So, well, I mean, I don't love the last part of it. That's <laughs> that's awful. But, you know, yeah, that is crazy. That is truth is stranger than fiction, man, for sure. Yeah, man. Small world, though, right? 